Hey. Uh-huh. I'm going to cut right into this one. Uh-huh. But he's definitely, shining, boy. You definitely got to do that. Woo! It's legendary. Legendary. When that took off. Yeah. Who did it? And you was like, oh, shit, I'm lit. Nobody, man. No, I, I no, know no, I'm lit. No, Come on, Cypress. No, 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 no. Who did it and you was like, okay, okay. Oh, 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 I'm not. Uh. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Still, I, I be knowing I, I am lit, but uh, definitely DJ Khaled, Rick Ross. Them the two. Shit, dude. Yeah. You gotta understand, and that's why I always respect them. They ain't even asked for no shirts, they ain't asked for no merch. They went on the site and bought it themselves. Yeah. But that's love. Bro, I think, like, for you, bro, when I hear a lot of pundits speak about your situation in particular, Prime ain't did nothing different than what any other great father would do. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? No, I understand. When I came out, they tried to shun my father from a lot. There's award shows that I have yet to be back because my father was not able to kind of come. Yeah, I mean, that's just a part of it, though. You got to understand the situation. You got to understand, like, you know, how this world is. Yeah. So it's like you got to just take everything with a grain of salt, be happy by the end of the day, understand, you know, what, what things are about. Say less. Who you here with? You got Gatorade. Yeah, I'm here with Gatorade. Mm. Legendary. Seen that. <laughs> bro. <laughs> it's a legendary thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, think, I think really for you, bro, how does Colorado get to that next step? By having the right players. We only lost a lot of games last year because we didn't have enough dogs on the team. Yeah. You got to understand, I'm not even a player to even be talking crazy or anything like You're that. Not. But but now when you got some guys on the team that can't stick up for themselves or you got guys on the team that that's not in them, you got to become that. Uh huh. Because they're they going to follow the leader. They're going to follow the guy that's going to be out there uh, not really caring. Whatever it is, they're going to go yeah. do it. So whenever you see them final minutes in a game and you understand, okay, cool, two's in that mode now, yeah. then it's just like, coach, <laughs> we getting it empty and I'm calling it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. how I go. Yeah. Right hand of God. Hey, listen, bro. Real question. Who knows you the best? My dad. Like, how you feel, emotional, excited. Who knows Shadur Sanders? I say probably, probably Dale. Quarterback coach who I train with. Yeah. Yeah. Pro pro probably him or Bucky, Deion Jr. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. think for you, bro, your whole life, like this is what people don't understand and they can't ask or say or relate to. Mm -hmm. Bro, your whole fucking life, bro, it's been a, a, a weight on your shoulders. Yeah. So when you perform, when you when you put on how you put on, it's not just regular, it's 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 expected. But you've been doing it for so long that for the yeah. average, it's different for me. Ain't nobody yeah. really know my dad. Yeah. Not until the last couple of years that you became Shador. Yeah. You've always been, the, oh, that's prime son. Yeah. For you, how do you manage that type of pressure, bro? It's not really pressure because it's not really... It's the same thing every year of your life. You got to understand, like, if you grow up in a big house, yeah. the whole time you're not going to really appreciate that it's a big house. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You're just going to be like, oh, okay, until it's taken away. Mm. Mm. So that's when I respect my dad because he, uh, we grew up in a big house, nice, like 25,000 square feet. Yeah, yeah like some, some very big. Um, football field, everything you could ask for. See, he got yeah. his own money. Oh, Arcade, yeah. everything, <laughs> basketball court, everything. Yeah. But then he moved us across town. Uh, still a nice house, but it wasn't like that. It was nothing like that. But he moves us across town to understand, you know, just a humbling experience overall. Yeah. Just to understand to get that dog mentality. We went, we didn't go to private schools our whole life. We went to charter schools. It's barely funded. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's like that's where we get that, that 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 grit factor. That's where we get like we we all the same. Yeah. Like we don't ever look at each other that we're above somebody or anything else because we all was the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I do the same. The things I do, like get the cars, get the chains and stuff yeah. like that, is because I remember when I was in that position, and mm -hmm. I never forget that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nobody else can relate to that because they ain't lived my life, but I remember when I couldn't call nobody and see actually how they went to go get a Rolls Royce or actually know what they had in their account when they went to get a Rolls Royce. You get what I'm saying? For sure. Nobody going to be real with you. So it's like 
the only thing I could do and to promise myself is just be a real person overall. Man, listen, I got a banger real quick. All right. I got a banger, Ped. What's up? You got one? I got one. Because I had one coming right after you. Going with it. Are you talking about that song? Mm -mm. Oh, my no, 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 no. I got a banger <laughs> ass question. Perfect timing coming out soon. Okay. Oh, you got a song? Yeah, I rap. Yeah, yeah. No, you don't. Who? That owl. You shit through feathers? Nah, I, I definitely rap. But Say you know, it, it's just the fun things. You know that you gotta that you gotta keep yourself. But pop rap doing. too, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? He'll be tripping. He played. We played at a big dinner last night too. Yeah. He didn't know it was gonna be played. It was crazy. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, bro. This funny. is the thing. Before I get into my banger question. I love how y'all keep that dynamic that that's still pop, but y'all still fuck with him though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that unity between you and your brothers and your father and your family as a whole, that's beautiful. That's yeah. that's love as a whole that gives the culture hope. Yeah. All right? Now, my banger question, Peggy, goes is like this. Where right. were you and what was your initial reaction when the Charleston White interview came out? Where was I? I think I was at the crib. How are how you kind of put up on game like, bro, like, you heard? Take me through that. I don't, I think it may have been Shiloh or somebody, or I don't know. That's really what it was. Yeah. Because I was watching the, uh, I was watching the show, but then from at the beginning to now, big difference. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Like, it's more entertaining, more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real and stuff like that. At first, it was all right. But now, you feel me? Mm -hmm. It was like, okay, cool. But... I think I think I think Shiloh. Then I just watched it. I don't know who told me though, cause I don't be remember. But then that was it. Yeah. But at the beginning though, before all that, it was like he a funny guy. Yes. You know what I'm saying he a funny guy. And he be saying sometimes he be saying real stuff, sometimes not. So I never had hate to a man, but like when he was doing that, then I'm like, okay, cool. That's yeah. just the character he got to play. That's just what he got to do. But this is the thing though, and I it was it was cringing, and I'm like, no, bro. That's something that you can't relate to. And the fact that he was vulnerable in that moment, I was even vulnerable because if he would have said, man, fuck Cam Newton. Yeah, that's what, it, because, that's what you because, had wanted. Because, that's because, what, but that's the thing you got to understand. Like, cause I seen the socials and all that stuff that, you know how, what they were saying even about you, like even him saying like, you know, he brought you on, you brought him on to try to defend him. Like, yeah. you don't really know what pops really do for people. You for know what sure. I'm saying? So it's like, the, 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 the lives that he touched just even by having a youth program and all that. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? So it's just like when some, you just can't listen to people like bro, that. Bro, you're in the position, Shiloh. Yeah. I'm going to give you these words. Shador. Shador. I'm, Shador. I'm, Shador. I'm, I'm Shador. sorry, bro. I'm Shador. sorry. Shador. Shador. birthday today. He on the way, though. Right? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Shiloh. Yeah. But Shador, yeah. you're in a situation, bro, that you can't, your mental has to be bulletproof. No, nah, that's what you, it is. You're in a lose-lose situation 90% of your, like, when you say something, you already lost. Yeah. If you do something, you already lost. Yeah. So for you, dog, just keep that spirit and keep standing on business. Shadur. Definitely. Legendary. You dig it up, Sam? Appreciate you, my guy. Nah, for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you.